for the last shot. I think he's going to take a timeout. Nope. He's going to play it out. I like it. McClung for the win. Oh, my goodness. Matt McClung with 2.2 left. Look at that snarl. My, my teammates are telling me I got to go. I respect you a lot, Fran. You're the man. Okay. But you're I got to go celebrate my job, teammates. man. You go celebrate. Right, yes, we sir. got you. Yes, sir. <laughs> So that guy obviously gets buckets. We're lucky enough to have him on the show with us today. We now welcome in Texas Tech bucket getter Mac McClung. And, Mac, you get plenty of buckets. That bucket was super clutch against Texas, number four Texas. And it was your first road win, Texas Tech's first road win over a top five team. So, I mean, you were missing five out of six of your last shots. What gave you the confidence to pull up and get that one? Um, mostly my teammates, uh, we, um, we knew we had to get one stop and then my teammates told me, um, uh, you know, to do my thing when I got the ball and coach already had a, a play drew up. So I knew what, um, I knew what, where I was going to be on the floor. So, um, they just, my teammates having confidence in me was the biggest thing. All right, Mac, we're going to go two parter here. First, you handled the whole interview afterwards brilliantly. It was very well done by you. But in that moment, you're celebrating, you're getting ready, you're getting hyped. You find out you have to go interview. Are you happy that you got called to do the interview afterwards, or do you just want to celebrate right then? I was definitely honored for sure. Um, my teammates, TJ Shannon and Coach Beard, was looking at me like, come on, let's go. So I was like, you know, I got to go. Um, but no, it was, it was, it was, I didn't mean any disrespect by that to Fran. He's, he's the man. So. Oh, and you handled it perfectly <laughs> with him. I felt bad for you because you want to celebrate. So what was the celly like? Like, you go join up with everybody. What would you all do? Yeah, there was just a bunch of dancing, a bunch of music, and uh, water f flying everywhere. So it was just a good time with the boys. Bunch of music. What's the go-to Texas Tech, like, DJ spin feel like? Uh... It's a mixture. Um, shout out to Ty, the manager. He he has a whole mixtape for us that we listen to, and it's just a variety of country, rap, a little bit of everything. I was going to say, it has to be a little country in there. It's Texas, right? Uh, so, okay, you just transferred from Georgetown. Now you're in Lubbock, Texas. How much different is the vibe, the culture, from Georgetown to Texas Tech? Yeah, that's a great question. It's it's a lot different. Um but, you know, I'm from a small town, so I'm kind of kind of going back to my, you know, how I was originally, and I'm, I'm really comfortable. And, uh, you know, D.C. is a great place as well. All right, so you guys have a massive game coming up against number two Baylor at home this afternoon. You've had some close losses this year. It's also such a strange year trying to get to know your teammates and really get into this vibe with all the restrictions everybody's going through. So what can you learn from the losses you've had that you think really applies to this afternoon? Yeah, I think, you know, um, sometimes you have to learn learn through losing, and that's that's never fun. But um, Coach always talks about how we have a new team and, and how bonding is so important. Um, so so we just try to take advantage of that and, and get to know each other more and, and have that poise down the stretch where we can close out those games. All right, Max. So all the highlights that we've seen so far is you pulling up getting three-pointers, getting Jays, but I heard – you also are a pretty solid dunker. I saw some highlights on YouTube. So favorite dunk? Do you have one? Um, I would probably say a windmill is my favorite dunk. Uh, but yeah, I uh, haven't dunked in a while. Hopefully I can bring something back soon. I mean, we're looking up. Oh, good <laughs> Lord. Great googly oh, okay. movie, dude. Like, just a, just a, just a look at this. That, the, the moment you dunk, like, I'll never know this as an unathletic 5'9 guy. The first time that you dunk, like, do you then next for the like the next month just try and dunk every single day? Uh, yeah, I try to rest a little bit, but no. Um, yeah, I love dunking. It's something I've always had a passion for. Um, but it's and it's one of the, one of I think everybody's favorite parts of the game. So I really enjoy it. I mean, it's the most entertaining for sure. So you have to get Chris Beard. Just be like, yo, coach, gotta gotta throw some up to me or something. <laughs> right, I'm trying to tell him. I'm trying to. So what do you think, obviously, you, you guys have Baylor coming up, right? But you've played plenty of big games at Georgetown, I would imagine. So what do you think the biggest game, the biggest, t the biggest opponent has been in your career so far? Yeah, that's, um, that's something, you know, I talked about with Coach. And the biggest thing is my biggest game is always the next game on the schedule. Um, obviously, I have a lot of respect for Baylor. They're a great team with um, a, a lot of chemistry and a lot of, a lot of weapons. But um, – the biggest game is always the next game on the schedule to me, and um, and, that, and that's how I try to prepare for each game. Hey, look, Mac, all we ask next time is that you bring the dance celebration out onto the floor. I still want to see what it looks like. Like, that's my favorite part of all of this is just watching y'all celebrate. Congratulations <laughs> on the game winner. Congratulations on all you're doing this season, man. Thanks for the time. We appreciate it. Thanks, Mac.
Thank you guys for having me. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.